eyes were closed Now I see clear as day And I just wanted to say That you can take me high Feels like I can fly You can take me high Welcome back to another vlog and another day in our life. Today we are doing the infamous doo -doo 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 pregnancy test. And I'm also going to be taking an ovulation test because I still don't know what my body's doing. It's crazy to think that like, I don't know, if you go on YouTube, there are so many people with positive pregnancy tests who have IUDs and who have like weird things that have happened and oh, it's terrifying. So, um... Anyway, I'm going to take this, so I'm going to dip this. I have had my IUD since October of last year, and they said that everything should kind of sort itself out after six months, and if, you know, your cycles aren't gone or better or regular or whatever by those six months, then things could be a little, you know. Um, I do have some cramping, which is kind of annoying, but I don't know if that's like, you know, from the IUD. I just, I don't know. I don't know. So, um, the other thing is, is that what's really important for me is to do the ovulation test, which I do just about every single day because I haven't gotten a positive ovulation test. I don't know what's happening. I don't know if, well, my baby's going to be one in less than a month. So I feel like my body is like starting to do his thing. If I had a, if I got pregnant at five months and I got pregnant at what, eight months? or so, then by a year I'm probably, like my body should be doing its own thing. So I just don't know anymore if I'm having complications from the IUD, if my body's just doing weird things because I still am a year after having a baby. I, I don't know what's going on, but if I could get a positive ovulation test and at least know that my body is like doing something, I can figure out what day that is on, and then start tracking. Like I'm trying to track my cycle, but I I don't know what's happening and it's getting really frustrating so that's kind of where we're at I've seen so many people online though who are just exactly like me and their IUD has shifted and then they've gotten pregnant and I've even seen it where that's happened and then they're getting false negative tests like that is terrifying and so now it's like do I want to risk going back on like I do want to get it out and go back on the pill and risk all of the things that I've done before do I want to, I mean, I can't not have something because my cycles are so wonky that like natural family planning, I do that. I do that now, but it's not effective for me because my cycles are so messed up. So no, I don't know, but the ovulation test definitely looks like it's going to be negative again. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it or not. I probably can't see it. I'm trying. Here, you can see that. There's two lines there, but it's negative. My ovulation tests always, always, always have two lines. So let's see. <sighs> yep, there's nothing there. Not that I expected there to be. But, um, I always like to do that just in case. Actually, I, I'm supposed to take them at the end of every month just in case because if I end up getting pregnant I'm already really high risk and uh with the IUD and other stuff it would be really really bad so just like I'm supposed to check just in case anyways but oh man I just I don't know what my body's doing and I don't know what I should do about the IUD and it's just all confusing I don't know what are your guys' experiences with the IUD? Is it, like, do you guys like it? Is it a good experience? Is it a bad experience? Do you want yours out? Do you want to keep yours in? What What's your experience with them? Um, yeah, I'd definitely be interested in knowing. And I just, I don't know. I don't know what I want to do with it. Like, I don't, I don't know. I really don't know. So, anyway, let's get to today's vlog. Good morning everybody. Welcome back to another day in our life. It has been a little while since I've picked up the camera and I've vlogged other than Mother's Day. I've kind of been struggling just 
I'm exhausted and let me tell you what I mean by that. I am exhausted and I mean that in probably a different way than a lot of people think because a lot of people are like, oh, I'm so exhausted, I'm so tired. I'm more than that. I'm not just tired. I am extremely tired. I mean, like, out of this world, probably 95% of the people in the world have never experienced the lack of sleep that I live on and have felt as tired as I feel, like deathly tired. Like, my doctors aren't sure how I haven't had a stroke kind of tired. Um, but on top of that, I'm just exhausted, like physically exhausted, mentally exhausted. A lot of people are going out and they're doing their groceries or they're going to the store and getting whatever they need or you know, all that stuff. Some people still are going to work. I haven't done any of that. I've been stuck inside with my kids this entire time. I'm not going to the store. I'm not doing anything. If we drive somewhere, it's for pickup or we're dropping something off, that's it. We haven't gone to any parks, we haven't gone anywhere, and the weather has been so crappy that this entire time, I think we've played outside three times, I think, that's all we've been able to go outside this entire time. We have been stuck inside with three kids, three and under, since January. <laughs> like, and right now, Kaylee, you guys have seen me talk about Kaylee's behaviors. They were getting better, they really were. She's been doing so good but she's not getting her gymnastics. She's not getting outside to play in the pool or at the water table or running around outside. We're just stuck in here and she can't handle it. And then it's affecting the other kids and the other kids are acting up. And so now we're just at this point where everybody is just so irritated with being stuck inside and they're all so grumpy and they're bored with everything because they've played with everything. Like, and so now I'm just kind of at this point where I'm just over it and I'm just, I'm exhausted. I am so mentally exhausted. Like anytime one of them cries or gets hurt, I was just like, I want to rip my hair out because I just, there's nothing I can do. I can't take them outside to play. I can't take them to their weekly, almost daily. We were going to gymnastics almost every day. I can't do any of that. And it's really just starting to affect everybody. And now I'm to the point where it doesn't matter what I do, everybody's cranky, everybody's irritable. I have no motivation to make food. I have no motivation to do anything. Like, to clean, to cook, to... Okay, that's enough, you can come up here. To just read, watch TV, like, I just, I don't, I don't wanna do any of it. I just, I'm just so exhausted and that's kind of where we're at. So, I'm vlogging today and yeah, what do we think? Really the only thing I've found motivation in right now is um, you guys have seen me do a lot of like my crafting, my resin, um, I'm trying to get back into like my sewing and all of that stuff so I did get things to set up a craft area in my garage and I am working on reopening my Etsy store. My Etsy store is open for just like digital download purchases right now. But I am working on getting my Etsy open back up to sell all of the cups and the tumblers and the vinyl decals and shirts and everything that I've been making. And I um, bought a website. I bought a website. So I am, I am working on opening up all of that and hopefully starting my own little small mommy business. Right? You are so cute. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? So anyway, on that note with opening up the business and all of that stuff, I do want to say that with the YouTube channel, I was doing like daily videos and all that stuff. And I think I've officially decided that I'm going to do an upload schedule of Monday, Wednesday, Friday for vlogs, sit down videos, anything. And if I have extra, I'll do Saturday. Kaylee was just throwing my laptop across the room. So yay, that's awesome. Anyway, things are changing a little bit for the good, I think. Um, I'm also gonna go ahead and I will, can you guys even hear me? I can't even hear myself think in this house anymore. I will leave my um, gaming channel linked down below if you want to check it out. I mean, right now I'm playing Animal Crossing on it, so if you're interested in that, go ahead and look at it. If not, this is like entirely in different, different audience as that channel. Um, but I'll go ahead and leave it down there. Currently it has 384 subscribers, so woohoo, we are getting there. But hopefully soon we'll be able to monetize it. Now, it's only been about five minutes since she threw my laptop across the kitchen. She just took her diaper off and smeared her poopy diaper all over the bedroom. <sighs> I'm really gonna go insane. I, 
I like, I feel myself like almost over that hurdle of like completely being mentally unstable. Like I'm, I'm really, really close to that. It is so bad. There is a difference between being in quarantine, being in quarantine with kids, and being in quarantine with a child who has behavioral issues. That is like a whole new level of absolutely ridiculous. So. I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm gonna go insane. I am going to go insane. I really am. How is it? Do you like that? Do you like it? We're about to see if Evie likes it. Here's mommy's. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. The other thing is I always order a cup of their ginger salad dressing because it is so good to dip in the um, Philadelphia roll or anything else that's just like a normal roll that isn't one that's like a huge roll like my tiger roll. I forgot to order this and they remembered. They remembered to put it on my order for me. I forgot and they didn't. That is crazy. The staff there is so, so, so sweet. It's sisters and a mom and dad. Um, we've been going there. We actually used to go there every single Wednesday since they opened and it was like, oh my gosh, I don't even know how many years now, six or eight years or something. We went every single Wednesday. And then I started having classes on Wednesdays so we would like swap out the days and then it got really, really hard when Maddie was like two and Kaylee was still a newborn and then I was pregnant with Everly. Then it got really, really hard to go and we couldn't go a whole lot and then this whole pandemic happened and we haven't gone at all. So, oh, so excited. Okay, here we go. Mm, I've missed this. Mm. Let me tell you guys something about this. This was my plate of sushi. It's gone. Usually I can eat that one big roll and like half of another roll, maybe that's all I can fit down. I eat the big roll and the smaller roll. My pad thai, this is my plate of pad thai. This was my second plate of pad thai that I had, totally gone. And now I'm eating the kids leftover rice, which is actually almost gone. Like this is all that's left in the bottom of the container. And then this, yeah, Kaylee's plate's empty. And this plate, and now I'm gonna eat their rice and probably some of their noodles because that is how much I've missed it and how amazing it feels to finally have it. It is currently 8.04. I just started picking up the play area. It's trashed as usual. It sounds like Danny just got off work. Hello, sir. Hi. Hi. Have a good day at work? Yeah, it's a vault as always. So, anyway. I was working on picking up the playroom and ending the vlog. So oh. Danny can actually say bye in a vlog for once. Hey, hey. Bye. say thumbs up, subscribe. Like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. <laughs> bye. You can take me high. Feels like I can fly. You can take me high.